Um, but I have decks for the other four. So I've been playing with this Mayev deck the most. I made some Reddit posts about it. Uh, some a Reddit post about it. It's a lot of fun. It's reasonably effective. I'm pretty happy with where it's at so far. I'm something like I've lost one game with it and one. I don't know, maybe six, ish. I forget exactly. Um, the games are usually close. You damage yourself a lot. You need to make sure you're healing well. Card flow is an issue because the deck sort of hemorrhages cards a lot due to having a lot of cheap spells. Um, and right to the end vault's kind of clunky. But mostly it works out okay because you can use Desolator as a mana sink. Uh, and you still have Spectral Revenants to top deck into. The basic idea is the deck is I wanted to build a tempo deck. I like the idea of taking a crappy creature and upgrading it to be a 4-4. And of course your crappy creature doesn't cost very much so maybe it comes with a battle cry effect or um it was very cheap there's more of it so i'm playing like zix and gloom chaser which might be going too far i'm not sure um like maybe this deck needs more swarm payoffs maybe i should have Murkblood devourer or primus fist or something to help trade maybe cutting the gloom chasers and putting in primus fist is a good idea um the rest of the list is basically support for this idea um, and finishes. So we have Blood Tear is cheap, Sphere of Darkness is cheap, and a really good cantrip. <laughs> Love that Eggmar deck name. Thank you. I, I've been trying to make sure I get as many puns as possible going. Uh, although Omelette's not really a pun. Uh, Avoid Pulse because I needed more healing. Zix uh, is great with this deck. Uh, the dream opening is turn one Cryptographer Zix Bloodbond spell. We're going second, and I think. I should probably be running a third crypto to try and maximize that. We've got three Azza Heralds and three Healing Mystics, because we got to heal. May have damages herself a lot. Uh, three Lure, because it's just an efficient removal spell. Two Gloom Chaser. This guy's not amazing. I might replace it with something else. Uh, two copies of Bound Tormentor. This gives a little bit of extra card draw. It's good for tempo. You can sack the 2-3 once it's done its job. Um, and it's a good way of, you know, you play it, and then your opponent deploys something, and then you get to play... The, cheap, the cheapened creature plus something else, plus maybe a Bloodborne spell in the same turn. It's very efficient for tempo. Horror Burster. This card is not quite as good as I thought it was when I started because it turns out it can hit itself. Um, the 4 4 that comes off the Burster is able to be transformed. So you don't always get the full effect of a 4 4 and a 6 6 ready to attack. Um, you sometimes just get a 6 6 for 4, but that's not a terrible, terrible fail case. It's just a bit awkward that it's so reliant on RNG. Uh, to work but on reflection maybe a good thing because if it worked every time it would be insane <laughs> so maybe, maybe that's all right uh two copies of mind lathe this card is funny uh Maeve doesn't really have or yet have like a proper removal spell to herself like lilith has ritual banishing cassava has punish may have maybe just sort of has mind lathe mind lathe is pretty good uh it's obviously a bit awkward with the fact that your blood bond spell damages you but you still get a charge left on it at the end so the main cost is the fact that it takes a bunch of life to do that. The upside, of course, is you can steal something, attack with it, then trade it away so you can get some awful tempo turns with Mind Lith. Desolator is mandatory. It heals you. It goes really well with the BBS because uh, you can basically pay 5 mana and no cards to make a 4-4 and dome your opponent for 2. That's gross. So that's kind of the mid-game to late-game plan. Spelljammer. We have a lot of cheap stuff. Right at the end of ult is a supplement to Spelljammer. This card is very clunky. Um, the difference between 5 and 6 mana, it used to, for those not know, it used to be 5, and then nerfed it to 6, is really big. Um, so I'm only playing one copy instead of, you know, previously I've just jammed 3 and gone all in. And Revenant, because duh. Uh, the deck is aggressive. It wants finishers. Um, sometimes your opponents will pull ahead. You want Rev to kill them. Uh, hey, Blob, thanks for joining so yeah that's the deck seems to have been performing pretty well so far i've seen other people experimenting with sarlacc builds mind lathe builds um <clears throat> lurking fear builds i think may have a general with a lot of flexibility but i feel like ultimately she has a couple of limitations the one is running out of health and the other one is running out of cards so i've tried to design this deck to mitigate both of those by being fast so that makes both of them less important um relying on 
relying on the four fours to get a tempo swing down which maximizes the power of the bubble and spell in general as opposed to trying to get value off sacrificing stuff <clears throat> um and i've tried to make it as useful without the blood bone spell as i can while still maximizing nocturals um it still needs work like i said i think we should have a third crypto in here i think the gloom chasers can be cut and we can put in a primus fist or something to help make zix more useful um i don't know about the bound tormentor it's like maybe okay i was talking to someone on reddit about zeraloth not reddit on youtube about zeraloth that might be a good replacement um just to really spam the four fours 